Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to another WWE pay-per-view prediction video. This is going to be for Extreme Rules, uh, which is always a pay-per-view I look forward to. I do like Extreme Rules uh, usually. Uh, I like you know like Extreme matches, no disqualification matches. So some of my favourite matches basically. Uh, usually very exciting. So let's hope this pay-per-view doesn't let me down. So I'm just starting off here where um, as they're laid out on um, WWE.com basically. So there could be other matches, but these are just the ones that are. You know, confirmed on the card basically. So the first one is the, uh, the match is going to be on the WWE pre-show on YouTube. It's going to be the Miz versus Cody Rhodes. Uh, it's not really been too much build up to this match, um, so I'm just going to go out and say straight away the Miz will probably win this match. I think uh, Cody Rhodes at the moment is not really been winning too many matches. I think he's been winning on WWE superstars and that, beating like Alex Riley and that. Uh, but uh, I think the Miz will win. I think they're going to push the Miz probably. Um, I hope he doesn't win because I don't I don't like the Miz at all really, and I do like Cody Rhodes, but I'm gonna say the Miz will win this match. I don't know if it's a match I'm gonna watch actually the pre-show. I don't really uh, watch the pre-show that often. I think I've watched like one in like four or five uh, pre-shows basically, so I've only seen them one. So it's not really. They usually have a match on that really doesn't you know catch my attention basically. It's usually a crap match, uh, but this could be a decent match. But um, I don't know if I'll watch it or not. Second match we have is Chris Jericho versus Van Dango. Yeah, Van Dango. Um, so this is a rematch after their match at WrestleMania, which everyone was saying Van Dango beating Chris Jericho at WrestleMania was a huge shock. Uh, basically, that's what other commentators are saying. But personally, I don't think it was a shock at all. I expected it as well. But a, lot of a lot of people expected Van Dango to win. Obviously, it being his debut match. And um, obviously, if he lost, it'd be a bit of a flop, to be honest. They want to try and build him up, obviously. So, I did expect Van Dango to win at WrestleMania. And um, I'm expecting Jericho to win this time, I think. Um, Jericho, I think, he needs to start being more serious. He did say that in one of his backstage interviews. He needs to be a bit more serious. And I'm hoping he gives Van Dango a right battering. To be quite honest, because I personally like both these um, wrestlers. And if Van Dango wins, I, I really don't care. I like them both, so I'm happy either way. Uh, but I, I do still prefer Chris Jericho slightly because he's a wedge, to be honest. Um, he's one of, one of the people I've always liked ever since I started watching wrestling. So I think Chris Jericho will get his revenge and he'll win this match. And uh, I think, obviously, I'm wanting Chris Jericho to win as well. Next match, which I am really not looking forward to, Randy Orton is my favourite wrestler. I'm not liking Randy Orton at the moment. I think he's really bloody boring. And they're putting him in a match against the Big Show, who is even more boring. It's an Extreme Rules match though, it's an Extreme Rules match, which makes it maybe a slightly better, maybe. So um, yeah, Randy Orton versus Big Show. Big Show's got a terrible record since he's been heel uh, at pay-per-views basically, so I think Randy Orton will win this match with an RKO, most probably, on a, I don't know, on a chair maybe or something, I don't know. Uh, like I say, I think they're both boring. It could be a, a decent match, being extreme, like an extreme rules match. If it had been a singles match, I would, I would have said it'd been totally crap. Uh, but it's got extreme rules on it, so it might be decent. We'll have to wait and see. But I think uh, Randy Orton will win, and obviously I'm pulling for Randy Orton because I really don't like the Big Show at all. It's got to be like one of the most boring superstars in the WWE at the moment, in my personal opinion. Um, yeah, you know, and Randy Orton's not that far behind, to be honest. He needs to turn heel. He needs to turn heel. Um, but I still, like, I still like Gordon, obviously, as a person. And the next match we have is a strap match between Sheamus and Mark Henry. Now, I've not watched, uh, there's not been a strap match for ages. I think the last one I watched, or remember watching, was uh, Shad versus uh, JTG, which were the former members of Crime Time, if anybody remembers that. Um, when Sh uh, Shad Gaspar, Gaspar, when Shad Gaspar turned heel, basically him and JTG, JTG had a strap match. Uh, that's the last one I remember watching, to be honest. There could be another one after that, but I really can't remember it. Uh, I think this could be a decent match. I'm actually expecting Mark Henry to win this match. Um, I don't know why. I can't. I can't see them pushing like Sheamus towards a title or anything. Um, not, not at the moment, anyway. I think they should turn Sheamus heel as well at some point. And uh, Mark Henry, I think they really should push Mark Henry for the title, uh, for the world title. So I'm going to say Mark Henry will win this match. And I never thought I would say this, but I'm actually pulling for Mark Henry. I'm actually really, really enjoying what Mark Henry's doing at the moment. 
as to you know, as per Sheamus, because I think Sheamus is really bloody boring. So I think Mark Henry will win this match, and like I say, I'm pulling for Mark Henry. Now here's a match this could be really, I think this could be a really good match. I'm really looking forward to this one. And it is the match for the WWE Tag Team Championship between Daniel Bryan and Kane, Team Hell No, and The Shield, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. And that is a, a tag team tornado match. Yes, fantastic. They've actually got another tornado match. I love tag team tornado matches. I hate normal tag team matches. So, um, yeah, this is going to be really, really good for me. I hope. hope it's not a letdown. I think this could be the night of the Shield, and I am praying that this is the night of the Shield. I am so bored of Team Hell No. Dan Brown and Kane, I really liked them at, at first, but I think they're really boring. I think they need to split up as a team and go separate ways. And, uh, yeah, the Shield. I think the Shield are absolutely fantastic, and I'm fully behind the Shield. So, I think Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns... Uh, will win this match and become the new WWE Tag Team Champions, in my personal opinion. And that is, in my opinion, what they should do. Because the Shield, in my opinion, are really bloody entertaining. Probably the best thing in the WWE right now, uh, in my personal opinion. Just really, really enjoy what they do. So, um, yeah, hope, hopefully we'll see them with the, tag team ch uh, with the tag team titles at Extreme Rules. So I'm really, really hoping that WWE make that happen. Because I'd, I'd mark up for that, I'm telling you. Talk about the Night of the Shield. We have uh, the United States Championship match between the United States Champion Kofi Kingston and uh, Dean Ambrose. Probably my favourite member of the Shield, Dean Ambrose. I think he's probably the best in the mic, in my personal opinion. I think he's really, really good in the mic. I always consider him to be, I think they're all equal, but I consider him to be like the leader of the Shield. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, Dean Ambrose, I think, should win this match and become a new United States Championship. Uh, Kofi Kingston as the United States Championship. Is, is not really any different to, you know, the normal uh, Kofi Kingston. Because a lot of people, you know, when they become champion, uh, they have a new attitude, you know, they, they change their attitude. But Kofi Kingston is just the same. And, you know, I just don't really, I can't really see him going anywhere with Kofi Kingston. I think the only reason um, why Kofi Kingston got the title is because um, they couldn't have, like, Antonio Cesaro versus, you know, a member of the Shield, a heel versus a heel. So they wanted, you know, the Shield to face... A face, basically. So they made Kofi Kingston win it, so they could have a face fighting, well, Dean Ambrose in this case. Um, and hopefully the title will uh, switch hands again in the favour of the Shield member, Dean Ambrose. Um, so yeah, I'm fully behind Dean Ambrose. I think he'll win this match, and I'm behind him all the way. I think the Shield deserve the titles, basically, at the moment, because they're really bloody entertaining. Next match is Alberto Del Rio. In the words of Booker T, he also has to say it very slowly, Booker T, versus the All American American Jack Swagger. Uh, it's an I Quit match, which I really like. I really like I Quit matches, and I believe the winner of this has to face Dolph Ziggler. Uh, I think it was going to originally um, be a triple threat match between Alberto Del Rio, uh, Jack Swagger, and Dolph Ziggler, but um, Dolph Ziggler's picked up some kind of head injury, concussion, I think, when Jack Swagger hit him with a ladder. I think, it was, I think it was a ladder anyway. Might have been a chair. I can't remember. It hit him with something anyway and it's given him a concussion. No, oh, no, it was a kick. It was a kick to the face, actually. Um, or a kick to the head. Uh, yeah, that's what it was. Um, so, yeah, the winner of this fight is Dolph Ziggler. So, I'm going to I'm gonna definitely say uh, Alberto Del Rio. I'm not going to have a heel versus a heel, I don't think, for the title. So, I'm going to say Alberto Del Rio is going to win this match. Uh, I don't know what he's going to do, whether he'll put in an, an arm lock his arm lock in a, like, in a chair kind of thing. I think they should do that. That would be pretty damn um, brutal. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be Alberto de Rio. And I want Alberto de, uh, Alberto de Rio to win as well. Because uh, I really like the face of Alberto de Rio. I didn't, I'm starting to get a bit um, fed up of him as a heel. But I actually like him as a face. And I, I quite like Jack Swagger as well. But, you know, I prefer Alberto de Rio. But, um... When he does win this match and when he does face Dolph Ziggler, Dolph Ziggler's probably going to win anyway, so, you know. But uh, yeah, Dolph Ziggler, um, Alberto De Rio, sorry, to uh, win this match. Okay, so we're on two, the last two matches. Which one I think will be good, that one I think will be pretty damn poor. Because it's got John Cena in it. What more do you expect, guys? So the first match, or the second last match, if you say, actually, is Triple X versus Brock Lesnar in a steel cage match. Wow. Just wow. I'm really looking forward to this match, guys. I really am. Uh, the last two matches... Well, the first one I thought was pretty good. Um, and the last one at WrestleMania I thought was 
bloody fantastic. I actually thought that was one of the best matches of the night. Which uh, actually took me by surprise. So uh, yeah, steel cage match. Uh, I actually don't have a clue who's going to win this match. I could flip a coin um, <laughs> to see who's going to win this match. Because I really don't know. Uh, I like them both, but to be honest, guys, I think the storyline they've got going at the moment is really good, and I like both wrestlers, um, both competitors. So, but I, I think I slightly prefer Brock Lesnar, and the fact is with Paul Heyman as well as an added bonus, because I really like Paul Heyman. I think he's a really, really funny guy, awesome on the mic, uh, which makes me like Brock Lesnar even more, because let's face it, Brock Lesnar on the mic's pretty damn crap. So he needs Paul Heyman, basically. Um, it's a matter of fact whether... Brock Lesnar's going to be in the WWE, uh, WWE for that long. If he's not going to be in the WWE for very long, uh, I think Triple H will win this match and Brock Lesnar will disappear uh, for a while. Or if Brock Lesnar plans to stay in the WWE for a little while, maybe Brock Lesnar will win this match. Oh, God. I'm going to say Brock Lesnar. It might be biased. <sighs> Slightly biased, but... Just the build up to it at the moment, uh, I don't know, guys. I think I'm gonna go Brock Lesnar. I'm gonna say Brock Lesnar's gonna win the steel cage match. Like I say, it could go either way, and yeah, I want Brock Lesnar to win as well, but it could go either way, in my opinion. And the last match, which probably would be the main event, which is crap, I hope it's not the main event, it is the WWE Championship match between WWE Champion John Cena. John Cena, sorry, if I might have said something else there. John Cena and Ryback in a last man standing match. Uh, I can't see Ryback getting a title, to be honest. Um, not yet. Not yet. I do like Ryback uh, more now. Now he's a heel. I think he suits the heel gimmick a lot more. Uh, Ryback rules. <laughs> and I'm going to be pulling for Ryback all the way, but John Cena's going to win this match, I think. He's not had a title that long. He just won at a WrestleMania. And I don't think the title's going to change hands. I don't think Ryback should really get it, to be honest. So, um, yeah, quick answer, guys. I want Ryback to win, but I think John Cena's going to win, definitely. So, um, there's a little voting system here. So, we click that. And 79% uh, say John Cena, well, 21% say Ryback. So, yeah, definitely. Cena's going to win, unfortunately. But it is what it is. I think this could be a boring match, in my opinion. So, I'm not looking forward to it at all. So guys, uh, anyway, thanks for watching this video. Let me know your predictions or um, just your overall thoughts in the comments below. And I'll, um, yeah, look forward to your responses. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later. See you guys. Thanks for watching.